We're going to get to the story of the day, and uh, I, I can't wait to get into this, Jonas, because I just think it's classic. And uh, Dodgers pitcher Joe Kelly, who's a, basically a new Dodgers pitcher, right? He wasn't with them two years ago when they really had their issues with the Astros and the right. cheating. But uh, we knew some pitchers were going to throw at the Astros, and he did. He threw one uh, behind Alex Bregman yesterday, and then he basically threw a couple of brush-off pitches to uh, Corey, uh, Correa, uh, Carlos Correa. Yeah, Correa. Yeah. And um, so that cl- started a bench-clearing brawl, and Joe Kelly has been suspended for eight games. Now, remember, it's a 60-game season. That's the equivalent of 22 games. So that's a message. And I have my thoughts on it, but I'm going to let you go first as the guest. What do you think about this? I'm totally okay with the suspension. I think it's ridiculous. Mm. I think the Dodger fan base has turned into a batch of crybabies. Get over it. We understand. You got screwed over. The Astros cheated. Major League Baseball had an opportunity to settle things and do it the right way. They didn't do it. But now's the time where you got to move on and you got to get over the fact that you lost that World Series. And and also, by the way, Joe Kelly, the guy who wasn't part of the team, is out there the one sending messages. Because Joe Kelly was a member of the Boston Red Sox, who conveniently are the other team, part of the latest yes. cheating scandal <laughs> against the Dodgers, but he's the guy that Dodger fans are rallying around. I think it's ridiculous. I think this season is not the season to try and set a tone or even scores or right wrongs that have happened in the past, especially not from Joe Kelly. It's a 60-game sprint. Every game counts, and your focus should be on winning a World Series and not trying to exact some measure of revenge because the Astros banged on some trash cans a couple of years ago. Jonas Knox, about 24 hours ago, I said this to George Wrongster, I mean Wrightster, who was filling in for Rob Parker. (laughs) Jonas, I got beef! What? Get over it. Get over it. You said that like it was like a a, a three-game series in July. Hey. They may have cost the Los Angeles Dodgers a World Series, their first since 1988. Are you kidding me? And may, the, the thing you said that was right, Jonas, is that Major League Baseball dropped the ball. No pun intended. How in the world is Joe Kelly have more of a suspension? I mean, they didn't even get suspended. Then the Houston Astros. Major Why is this this guy got eight games for hitting nobody? Remember, he didn't even hit Bregman or Correa. He hit nobody. He gets eight games, and yet the Houston Astros get to go down in history as World Series champions when we know they cheated. Now, I look, I, I have ranted and raved at Rob Parker about these crazy unwritten rules in baseball. You know, like, like it's the only sport where you can just throw at a guy <laughs> right. because he did something wrong, right? I, I get that. <laughs> yeah, and, you and can't I flip get, your bat. You're not allowed right, to flip your right, bat. Right, exactly. Right. So I'm with all that childishness and, and this and that. But when I bring that up, everybody defends it. That's part of the game. That's what we do. It's, it's been, everybody knows they expect it. That's how we police each other. So now, it's just the, it's been a bad week for baseball, Jonas. Yeah, yeah. First of all, you should have been in a bubble. Okay, bubbles, I should say. Three bubbles, six bubbles, whatever. And now, you are going, you are suspending a player who hit nobody with the pitch. I don't even know if he was throwing at Correa. Those were curve. We know he doesn't have control, Joe, Joe Kelly. He's got bad control. He didn't hit Correa. There were curve balls that brushed him off the plate. He was definitely throwing at Bregman, I think. I mean, come on. There's no yeah, doubt about that. But you get eight games for that? When they, when they cheated and they got nothing. I said it before, and I'm about to be quiet. They should have taken those rings from 
the Astros. No championship. We didn't have a champion that year. That's all they should have been done. Then we we wouldn't even have this mess. Kelly wouldn't have thrown at them. Baseball would have and should have settled it. I totally agree. I said it at the time. Take back the World Series rings. Uh, and, and the players that refuse to give back those rings, they're not allowed to play another game until they give back those rings. I totally agree. The Astros absolutely cheated. But the bottom line is, nothing that happened last night is going to bring back that World Series. It's not. In fact, you know what would have helped them try and maybe get another World Series? If Joe Kelly, the savior, didn't have a 23-plus <laughs> ERA in the postseason a year ago. He was a gas can in that series against the Nationals. But Dodger fans who were ripping him to shreds a year ago are now celebrating him like he's their hero. Oh my god, this is the gift of the century. We're in the middle of a pandemic, okay? You've got one team who's got 18 positive tests. They're doing everything they can just to try and salvage a season that is going to make them or, or possibly cost them millions, if not more, dollars if everything is scrapped, if we can't get control of this whole thing. And Joe Kelly's going to taunt a player after he strikes out, stick his tongue out like a child, and then try and <laughs> incite some sort of a fight when we're trying to do the whole social distancing thing. I think Major League Baseball was absolutely correct in the suspension, and Dodger fans celebrating Joe Kelly, I think they seem to forget all the other opportunities they had to win a World Series. Are you also going to throw at members of the Phillies from back in 2008? What about members of... They didn't of, cheat. The what, Phillies didn't cheat. But but this is all about, they took our World Series from us. They no, no, no. did. You and, took, and hold on, you know, Jonas, they have messed with guys' lives. What about poor Clayton Kershaw? And I know, look, he's he's been bad in the postseason beyond you know the, the series where he was cheated. But still, that guy's legacy, the best pitcher of our generation probably, and all we remember about him is he was a choker in the playoffs. And part of it is because the Houston, likely because the Houston Astros cheated. It, Not, tough, it, tough it, balls. Listen, this is just, look, if, if you find out. They should have the suspended Rob Manfred. All right, that's who they should have suspended. That's fine. You want to suspend, and also I'd all say this: we should also suspend Rob Parker because he weaseled out of it. What do you know? Major League Baseball pops up with eighteen COVID uh, positive tests. You're right about and, and then, that. And then we got this this scam that happened last night in Houston, and Rob Parker's nowhere to be found. He's on Instagram having lunch at a pizza parlor outdoors in New York with with <laughs> with, a, with a nice looking woman, and he's I'm nowhere to be it. found to answer for the sport that he shoves down our throats three hundred sixty nine days of the. <laughs> year better than football better than the NBA and yet here we are and we've got Joe Kelly who had nothing to do with that team a couple of years ago that got cheated and he's the guy throwing pitches and he's the guy trying to buzz towers I thought it was a joke eight games perfect perfect response from Major League Baseball bravo to Major League Baseball they finally did something right well, I give you this. You you said the right thing about Rob Parker because I was thinking about this. I've been thinking that all week. Like, <laughs> how in the found. world is he not here? But he, this would be a rough week for him oh, because yeah. he 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 defends baseball to the death. And for him to defend the situation with the Marlins or no bubble, and then he would somehow try to defend this. Uh, it, it's been bad for him. <laughs> but I, look, Jonas, I, I hear you. Uh, you're you're making some sound points. But to me, we can't let baseball off the hook. They dropped the ball. Agreed. Period. They Agreed. dropped the ball. And for, for a guy who, I mean, what do you think about, like, again, I, are they, they're trying to clean up the game where you're not going to be hitting guys, like, on purpose. I get it, and I, and I kind of applaud it. Uh, but how do you, I mean, he didn't hit anybody. And he still gets eight games. I, I think it was the taunting. And I'm telling you, and maybe they can't speak to this, but I think Major League Baseball, that was sending a message that, look, we meant it when we said we can't have confrontations this year. Because if all of a sudden there's a confrontation that leads to a fight, next thing you know, people are trying to break up the fight. If one player tests positive and infects everybody else, right. now you've got right. two teams, depending on the delay of the test, now you've got other teams that might be affected if they don't get back the results. I think this is Major League Baseball, not so much because of what Joe Kelly did, but what he possibly could have done, which was cause a brawl in the middle of a pandemic when we've already had major issues with one team. Luckily, no other positive tests have come out of it, but the Marlins are a black eye for the sport right now, and if this 
would have happened and it would have caused a fight and Joe Kelly was instigating it, they had to set a tone. Yeah, I, it's it's just misstep after misstep for baseball. But let's get to these callers. 877-99 on Fox. 877-996-6369. What do you think? Did Major League Baseball get it right with the eight-game suspension, 15% of the season, for Joe Kelly for not hitting anybody? <laughs> We got Tony in D.C. Tony, what's happening? What is going on, fellas? Hope you're having a good evening. Tell yes, me, we are, brother. Chris, How are you? it's two nights in a row, and you hit, we agree, my brother, you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> this commissioner makes Roger Goodell look like Pete Rozelle. <laughs> now you want to drop the hammer? Nice. Now you want to get tough? Look. The Dodgers are in – the Dodgers and every other body in the MLB has the right to be angry because, one, like you said, reputations were messed up, people lost money, and no two, no two seasons are alike with injuries and everything. That could have been your best shot at a, yes. at a title. And also, the Astros were talking trash knowing they were cheating. That's, yep. what, that's what really burns me up, and I don't even play MLB. So I hear you. The Great. one thing they're fortunate for is this pandemic, which, you know, isn't anything to brag about. But imagine how it would be if we were just in a regular season. They would be fighting every night probably. Oh, no, they're lucky. Because it's in addition to players going after them, they'd have the fans. So yeah. they definitely got, uh, you know, nobody, and nothing. This is not a blessing, this coronavirus. But. For them, uh, it was better that there's no fans in the stands. Let's All put right. it that way. So is it over? So are are they done well, being thrown at, or, or is this going to con- like at, at some point you do you do have to move on? I know I know the Dodger fans don't want to hear this, but at some point you do have to move on. You have an opportunity to win a World Series this year, just like you had an opportunity to win one last year. Joe Kelly didn't help much with that either, but you have an opportunity to win a World Series this year. Every they won game the game. Matter. Yes, I, I. But if you start, if you're playing the Astros, that's a good baseball team, and you start putting guys on base, that that creates problems in a 60 game sprint. I just don't think this year is the time to exact revenge. Major League Baseball dropped the ball. They butchered it. They had an opportunity, and they didn't handle it the right way. I think everybody agrees on that. But at some point, you got to move on and just go, we got jobbed. It, you know, I, Harping on that is not going to get us anywhere. I hear you. I'm watching the game now. So far, so good. I don't think they'll throw at them tonight, but I don't think it's over. I think somebody else will throw at them. Do, do you think it's over? I know. I, I think, yeah, I think, I think, think it's going to continue. And, and the teams that, that, if I were the Astros – the teams that I would be worried about are the teams that know they've got no shot. Like the, the right. teams that know, like, ah, oh, you know what? What do we care? We'll, we'll go right. out and do the dirty work. You look, th- this is going to happen, but it's just, it's the way Dodger fans just rallied around it, this poor me victimhood. It's like Saints fans when they got jobbed in that call in the NFC title game. We know it was a bad call. It was terrible. But you did also have opportunities to, to, to win that game. There were some opportunities. I just, I don't know. That, well, that I, I, look, out. I agree. What was they? They tried to call a city, the city council. What they oh, demand? God. They made some demand. I, 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 I agree. They that dressed was ridiculous. Up, they dressed up like referees with blindfolds on yeah. at Mardi Gras. It's that, Mardi Gras. Go that, catch some beads. What are you dressing up like a ref ridiculous. for? Yeah. I'll give you that. But, again, ba- this is on baseball. I, I, totally I do think the Dodgers fans went a little overboard. and You're right. There's nothing you can do about it. Just like the Saints, you got to move on. It happens. But baseball should have came to their defense. They didn't, and now we've got this. All right, let's go to Marty in Kentucky. Marty, what's up, man? How are you? I'm good. My buddy's got a message for you. Hey, Jonas. Baseball is awesome. And so is Ron Parker, too. <laughs> hey Jonas, you know Rob Parker sent River. That's River. You know he sent him a pair of Jordans. Uh, well, well. So he's got a fan for life. Let me crank and crank the song. <laughs> it's either that or Rob Parker does a, does a really good good accent of a child from Kentucky. Uh, yeah, think, one of the two. I think that was the outtake from his stand up routine, which, by the way, I heard. You uh, heard it. That's a little I, scary. I, Only the Prince of Darkness would think that. <laughs> um, River heard all the hating on Rob, and he had to stand up for him. I, hey, I know he's got a fan for life now. I don't blame yeah, him. I gotta admit course. that. River loves baseball. Everybody in my family's like Rob. They love baseball. I'm I'm like. Jonas, I love football and, and 
when and I, well, Chris, you like basketball. Basketball's probably right. my number two, but they're really close. They're both up there. But you know, I'm the black sheep of the family. All of them love baseball. But um, on this um, subject, I'm going to say they got it right. But it it feels like them getting it right is like kissing your cousin this time because <laughs> they got it so wrong. Yes, with the slap on the wrist with Houston, and then yes. they get this right. It's like you know. You won the battle, but you lost the war. Exactly. That's what and this because is. Because they didn't get it right, we'll get more fights. Yep. Yep. It, it's just it, again, I, it, 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 Rob Manfred, and I don't like. I'm not trying to pick on him, but my goodness, he it looked, just seems to be gaff after gaff after gaff. He looked over his skis during this entire uh, negotiation to get a season back yep. on track. I mean, he looked openly flustered. You can say whatever you want about Roger Goodell, and you can, and people can rip him for his and all of his and you know inadequacies and the, and the poor mistakes and decisions that he's made. But there's never one time where I've seen Roger Goodell, amidst all the heat, ever look flustered or right. shook. And Rob Manford multiple times just looked shook. He looked like he didn't know what to do. Coming off, you know, uh, this cheating scandal, not handling it or handing down the right punishment. Then he gets to a possible season. Then he doesn't He doesn't realize that unless you have a signed agreement, it's not actually an agreement. So he announces that, <laughs> that, he, that there's an agreement. And then he comes back and he's all flustered again. He goes on national TV and says, we are going to have a season. And then he comes back a week later and says, okay, well, maybe we won't have a season. Look like he was completely over his skis the past couple of months. No, you're right. And and look, you can disagree, and and I'm sure both of us have with things that Roger Goodell's done. Of course. But yeah. like you said, he seems in control. You just don't agree with the decision. Yeah. But he's in control. And Adam Silver, as much as a player's commissioner as he is, he's in control. Yeah. And obviously and- the NBA is getting high marks so far because the bubble seems to be. Uh, great, and they seem to be way ahead of the other leagues. But let's let's get to Jacob in New Mexico. Jacob, you're on with Chris and Jonas. Hey, what's going on, Judah Jonas and Beta Broussard? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, they got it wrong, man. First of all, they did, he didn't even hit them. Right. Then he struck them out. So if you get struck out, you're going to get some uh, trash talk to you, man. Next time you hit the ball, just suck it up and get off the field. You know, the Astros cheated, and they still had to go to seven games just to win. And they were cheating. So, Jonas, stop being a baby cry. This is a grown man's <laughs> sport when you start playing it at this level. It's grown man's sport, and if this Wild Wild West show me anything, when grown men cheat, man, if you used to cheat with Doc Holliday playing poker, he put you in a tombstone. So, hey, got- I, I, yeah. I, I, I'm with you, and, and I'll say this, jo- Jonas. Um, baseball, like we, we talked about Rob Manfred, just, just getting it wrong, you know, left and right. And here's the thing. Like I said, Joe Kelly talking trash. It it, was that, that was some of the reason he got suspended. I like that. We're always, we're talking baseball. We've been talking baseball because of the Marlins and the COVID-19 and because Joe Kelly threw at Alex Bregman and Carlos Correa. But we're talking baseball. I'm, I'm excited about this game tonight because of what happened last night. And, and I agree. I have no issue with any player in Major League Baseball showing personality. Right. No issue Let whatsoever. Them talk. But this is a different year. And the problem is... So you don't make, think you, they should be able to talk trash? If they no. want to suspend him for, for the throwing at Bregman, okay... But I look, they should let these dudes talk trash. If you intentionally try and start a confrontation that in the middle of everything that's going on, Major League Baseball's got to react. I don't have to agree with it, but I totally understand where baseball's coming from. I get uh, it. Okay, because Dodger it, fans it, are concerned about their World Series that they quote unquote had taken from them a couple of years ago. Major League Baseball's quote worried quote. Major League Baseball's worried about just having a season. They're trying to keep this thing together with duct tape and bubble gum, and you've got guys out there throwing a, a, a uh, 96 mile an hour fastballs as somebody said god forbid it hits somebody and who knows what the hell happens and then all of a sudden what are dodger fans gonna say well yeah but we didn't mean it like that we don't know who's gonna actually hit him i just i think it sets a bad tone i really do 